The method is actually coming out of uh, is actually coming out of the science, out of the medicine, uh, and it is uh, to see. I mean, to make tr uh, processes in your body transparent. So they put away minerals, and that minerals uh, uh, have those uh, color content, and you end up. I mean, uh, uh, with super super transparent uh, species. And he was trained to be uh, uh, a worker in that area and he generated out of that that uh, creativity and that artistical energy to play with it and or to, to, to turn that topic uh, into another light. Ars Electronic is not just presenting alternative approaches um, in the behavior with technology. Uh, uh, it also tells a story about um, a new position or a new role of the artistical personality in our society. I mean, uh, uh, they are coming up with prototypic uh, solutions for global problems. And uh, if you look at Kiwi Light, I mean, you see what artistical energy can generate. And it's far off market and it's far off art, but the process, the artistical process, uh, the way of uh, how they think, how they put energy into things, uh, and ends up nowadays in solutions for everybody. We were looking for a technology that were able to show to people in a really easy way what is digital fabrication. We found that these are really low cost and, and it's a machine that allows you to have uh, something on your desktop and then you can print a and you can produce a prototype really fast and really cheap. The miracle is when you see that something that you, like for three hours, have been modeling and starting to, to how to use it, the 3D modeling uh, software, and then you can print that, and, that's, and, and then you can use it. No? You can connect any different mechanism or something like that. No? And the physicality, so then you start to connect the digital with the physical world in a real way, no? I mean, something that you can touch.